everyone. My name is Ratislav. I came from the beautiful city of Prague, where I work at a cool startup called Epify, and our mission is to make web more programmable. And I'm here to present you our main open source project called Epify SDK. So what is it? Uh, just a second. OK, let's do it like this. Uh, it's a scalable web crawling and web scraping library for JavaScript. So you don't need Python anymore. Just use JavaScript. That's awesome, not? Do you agree? <laughs> so how, how can you use it? Uh, it can help you to automate any web workflow. It means that everything you can do manually in the browser, you can automate to save a lot of time. And you, you can do it by using the plain HTTP request or the full browser. Also, you can uh, control the Chrome browser uh, in the headless or non-headless uh, mode thanks to Puppeteer, which is a high-level API uh, made by the Dev, uh, DevTools team. And you can run Epify SDK locally or in the cloud on Epify platform, which will give you much more pow power, like rotating proxy or scheduling. And it's also easy to uh, install. Just run npm install Epify. So what, what, it can you, what it can help you with? It can help you with auto-scaling. If you run it on a platform as a Docker container, we solve the auto-scaling for you. And also, on a if you run it locally uh, or on, uh, on the cloud, uh, we take care about recursive crawling. And you don't have to worry about uh, retrying the failed request. Also, even on uh, localhost, we give you the storage of results, so you don't have, you don't have to worry how to uh, put it to JSON file, for example. And, and many more features, but let's, let me show you a quick example. We will take a look at the Hacker News website, which is a cool list of some uh, very interesting articles, and it's uh, uh, sorted by some uh, users voting. And let's, let's say we want a list of let's say 300 uh, articles for some maybe some analysis, any purpose. So if we look at the, at the page, we have first 30 articles here. And if we want to see more, we have to click on this link, more, which will load another page, which gives us another bunch of articles. So every time uh, we need to load another page. So how to get the list very easily? Let's use Epify SDK. So if I show you the code, this is a basic example. It has 75 lines, and but half of it is just a comment. And uh, we just import the Epify SDK, and then we define the request queue, a list of pages to crawl. And the starting point is the uh, domain of the Hacker News. And then we we call the class Puppeteer Crawler, and then we can use the same syntax as uh, as you use uh, with Puppeteer, if you use only Puppeteer API. So uh, we, we import the request queue. We can uh, put some uh, Puppeteer options, like if we want to run in headless mode or not. And let's limit the number of pages to 10, because like 30 articles per one page means uh, 300 per 10 pages. And then we just take care about the handle page function. So uh, on each page, we define uh, what, uh, what element contains the information about our art article. Here, it's the class a -tink, a tink, And we call it page function for it, uh, where we specify what information is interesting for us. So we specify selector for the article title, the rank of the article, the position in the list, and also the link to the article detail page. And then we just return it back to the data object. And the data object we push to the storage, to the da uh, lo local data set. And on each page, we also check for the link to another, play, another page, which was the link with text more this one. It contains this selector or this class. And then we have some function for debugging, but we don't have to care about it. So let's try to run it. We can run it just by writing node hackernews.js. 
And now you see it controls the Chromium, and it opens one by one each, the 10 pages and uh, scrapes the list of articles from each of the page, or from every page. So now it's number eight, number nine, and number 10. It closes. In console, we, we see crawl finished. We see the list of processed pages. And uh, we got some uh, folder called Epify Storage, if we open it. In, data, in def default data set, we have 300 files. And each file con contains the object with, with the details about the article. So as you saw, like without comments in, uh, let's say, 35 lines, we were able to uh, really easily scrape uh, or scrape a lot of information from 10 different pages. So uh, that's all from me. So if you have anything to automate, do it. It will save you a lot of time, and you can do much better things like doing some cool stuff in React. So thank you very much. <laughs>